Welcome to Shore Shot Archery, and well, I'm not the only thing that's cooking. Uh, this frying pan used to cook, uh, it's pretty worn out now, but in a home defense scenario, can a frying pan stop an arrow? Um, I got a couple poundage, different poundage bows with a couple different kinds of arrows, and we're going to be shooting at this frying pan with this beautiful torso of actually myself, made out of duct tape and stuffed, and we're going to see if the arrows go through this and you know, take me out. The first bow I'll be using is this 30 pound PSE Sentry and I'll be shooting some Easton X7s out of it. Uh, not the quickest, not the strongest bow I have, but if it goes through the frying pan at this poundage, uh, when I move up to my 50 pound uh, recurve then it's going to be toast, but let's find out. So I know everybody's main concern was, did the arrow survive? Yes, it did survive. It will be in the next video we make. But the more interesting question is, did it do any damage to this since it bounced off? And the answer is yes. We have a glorious dent up front here. And when you turn on the inside, if you can see that in the camera, uh, there's a, a nice penetration, uh, or almost penetration of the arrow tip there. It's really adding some character to this pot. Um, we're gonna step it up, I'm gonna get my uh, my Hoyt, and I'll be uh, shooting 50 pounds out of this with uh, Easton X7s again, but we're gonna be at uh, a much larger arrow shaft size. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. This may be the safest video yet with the arrows I've, I've shot. You know, you gotta watch out for the bounce back, but arrow-wise, we're, uh, we're two for two. Both of them have made it. And uh, another interesting result. Let me just put this down. Take our frying pan off. There's a tiny little hole you can see out of right back here. The tip barely, barely made it through. So technically not a full penetration. So, so far, you're very safe. Now I have one arrow left, and that is the Easton X10. It's gonna fly the fastest out of all of these arrows that I've shot so far. So if this doesn't make it through, then I would say you're pretty safe with defending yourself with a frying pan from at least arrows. Um, the only thing with this one is we might get a very interesting effect because it's the carbon on the outside with the aluminum tube on the inside there may be a small explosion, so don't try this at home. And if you do, it's, it's not on me, and you should wear safety goggles and be a professional. Let's give this a go. Wow, I am super surprised this arrow didn't explode. Um, which is good because I'm only about mm, 15 feet away, which is like home invasion level anyway, and where I shoot most of these arrow versus videos. Um, but a uh, really well built arrow. I, I guess the stainless steel tip took most of the hit. It did uh, mess it up a little bit. Of course, I'm not shooting perfect. Uh, arrows here. These arrows are worn and abused, and so are these tips. So um, I don't expect too much when I shoot them at things because they're not meant to last anyway because they're already no good for competition. But back to the frying pan. Wow. This is just wow. The kicker is on this shot right here, that's the X10. It was going to go through, but the stainless steel tip bulges out some and it got caught by the metal in the pan so unless you're shooting I would guess like maybe 
Easton X10s out of a 60 or 70 pound bow, you're probably pretty safe with this. Even a compound bow would probably run into a problem. I don't own one of those, but I think you would still be pretty safe with trying to block an arrow with one of these. Easton X10. Uh, Easton X7 Eclipse out of the heavier recurve at 50 pounds, about, almost all the way through. And out of the PSC, the Easton X7 Eclipse, only a dent. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, very, uh, very science. And, uh, I had a whole lot of fun shooting this, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, happy shooting!